Yo, what's going on guys? We are back today for another video. So on this Wednesday, we've got a lot of new content, new side quests, new event quests, but we've also got this new Alliance War content, that's solo Alliance War content essentially. Uh, it's called a showcase. We've seen one of these in the past, second one we've ever seen and i think the cadence for these types of content it's going to be like once per saga so a showcase once every three months or so and personally dude i i wish we got one every month this is actually some of my favorite content in the game you know i i loved alliance war so much way back in the day these days i don't mind it we just started pushing again this last season i have been enjoying it but there's not nearly that spark you know that i used to have this content gives me a little bit of that spark um i just i love it this type of content it's it's so much fun because it's very difficult it's difficult alliance war stuff but it doesn't matter if you die you know you don't have 29 other people to worry about and and, and I, I i can bring whatever traps i want i can experiment it's just i really like it man so and as far as the rewards go the big thing here is the malevolent ai uh the deathless piece here and, and that's only in completion, at least, you know, so you just have to do this one time to get that uh, for the seven star Deathless Vision. Uh, and then we have some, you know, Captain Marvel crystals, some loyalty shards, and then 5k Titan shards. So, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look. So in the, I'm going to be making two videos uh, for this content. The first one, in today's video, we're going to be taking, tackling the left side. So that's going to be CGR, Lady Deathstrike, Vision Arcus. Iron Man spot, void, shuri thing. And then tomorrow, I should have a video showing off the right side. Going K, Kingpin, Nick Fury, and Adam. Um, so yeah, I think without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Some tips and just things to keep in mind, you know, the way these tactics work. You don't need to bring in uh, an, an X magic a champion. You don't need to. Uh, any champion can remove the indestructible just by parrying, so you know, keep that in mind. If you don't have a ton of great counters in the tactic, don't be afraid to go outside the tactic. And I'm going to be showing that uh, in both of my videos. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, so starting us off here, we have CGR and Lady Deathstrike. And I've heard some people having some trouble with these first two champions. And there's a very easy way to take them both down. That is with Cosmic Ghost Rider, actually. And again, he is not tactic. We're going outside the tactic here. Uh, this is... It's its easy for this fight to go wrong, but the good thing is it's the first fight. So, you know, you can restart as many times as it takes until you get a good run. A bad run would just be like him throwing a special at a bad time. So here, I'm going to wait for the indestructible. All right, now I want to parry. Boom, there we go. Now I can go ahead and continue my CGR cycle. Drop this. And, you know, it's going to do a ton of damage. And we pretty much just need to time, you know, our parries uh, when the Instructable comes back. So that's what we're doing here. He throws a special two. I'm going to actually get uh, two parries on the special two. So that took right up, got rid of the Instructables from me dexing there. And then here he has one more Instructable. Um, I just toss this. And then we're going to get a parry and then finish the fight. So I just need a parry. And I'm just going to have to parry his special 2 again. If you can parry the special 2, that definitely helps. This was definitely not, you know, a great run. I've had so much better runs than this, but, you know, it's working. And here he survives at 1%. I'm like, bruh, just come on, just die. Just die, dog. There we go. Lost some health, but it's fine. Now I go to this next fight. And then if I die here, I just restart. You know, so if you're going to use CGR... Do keep keep practicing the first two fights until you can consistently solo them. And again, if, if you have a mishap, it's the first two fights, just restart. It's not a big deal. And the great thing about CGR, you know, is his fights are all like under a minute if they go right. So, you know, restarting until you get a good run, it's not gonna take that long. Uh, and this Lady Death Strike uh, isn't too bad with CGR. I I think this fight doesn't go great. I think both these fights were a little rough. Or maybe this one goes off. Oh, yeah, yeah, we just got hit. That's, yeah, I, I, I thought something was going to happen. <laughs> I think on my right side, the fight goes, also goes kind of poorly, but it's all good. It doesn't matter. We just need to get her down here. So, boom, pop this special two. With some pretty good damage. We just need, like, one more little combo, and there we go. Lady Deathstrike and CGR down, both in under, you know, like two minutes with my CGR. 
And I shouldn't need CGR for any uh, any other fights. So he did his job. He can take a rest now. And I, oh yeah, I also think on the first showcase, I think we could only bring, was it three champions? And now we can bring four? Or was it four on the first one? I feel like four is new and, and I like it. It feels good. So up next, we have Vision Arcus. So this is a tactic fight. I'm going to be bringing in the werewolf. And again, another thing I love about this being solo Alliance War content is I don't have to deal with the stupid repairy bug, you know, because there's no masteries here. So I can actually hit into the block with wolf without fear of being parried. That is incredible. That's so nice. Uh, so here we're just stacking up prowess, building our power. Uh, I know once I drop my special two in our mode, it's going to do a ton of damage. I just want to bait out his special first. Cause I don't want him going red. So here I'm just trying to bait this out. Bro, come on, come on, come on. There we go. He gets a little dex on me there. But boom, toss this. And yeah, look at all that damage, bro. Werewolf by Night is one of the best champs for this showcase. 100%. He's just, he's so good, man. He's so freaking good. Up next, we have an Iron Man Infinity War with a heavy hitter node, which is super annoying. Uh, so basically the key here is to re-parry. Uh, there's also an ebb and flow knockdown. So really, the my tips for this fight is patience. Just be patient, try to land the re-parries. And with Wolf here, you know, it's great because I don't need to worry too much. You know, I can just hit his block and howl. And right there, he hits me with uh, a full, fully critical combo there. So there it goes, you know. A lot of my health but it's fine it's it's literally fine it doesn't matter it's all good it's all good so they are throw the special one to get him knocked down we are going to be able to heal a little bit wolf does have some decent healing once we get into our mode you can see we're healing for oh a thousand per tick it's not too bad here i just need a knockdown uh so i think i want to go for like a reparry get a heavy and then special two but just not able to time any of that uh, and i throw the special to uh not at the perfect moment there but it still ends up connecting so i you know i guess it was okay but yeah man this is this fight this fight is honestly pretty annoying but with wolf just slow and steady hit his block get the ruptures be howling you throw some special ones to get the knockdowns wolf man he's such a beast honestly wolf He's, he's top five for sure. He's in my top five favorite champs in the game. Absolutely. I think he might be number four. Yeah. I think it goes Stark Spidey, Spot, Onslaught, and then Werewolf, dude. I just, I love, I love Werewolf. He's, he's so awesome. He's, I think, I still think he's pretty underrated too. Um, I think a lot of people still underestimate just how good this guy really is. And so here we're going to throw another special two, and you can see... He's toast. He's toast. You know, the scariest part about Iron Man Infinity War is his final 15%. We just skipped right through that. So up next, I had a little bit of a mishap on this spot. So I had to uh, run it back. I also decided to boost up. I went through those first few fights. And I was like, hey, I could boost right now. Might as well. I have seven of these attack boosts in overflow. Some of the 20% is in overflow too. I, the reason I have seven of those attack ones in overflow is because we get them every day from the super event. So I just have, I might as well use them. You know, they're going to expire if I don't. But up next here, we have a spot. So I'm going to be going for Onslaught here. Um, and so Onslaught is not tactic, but neither is this spot. And Onslaught's not even that bad for fighting Tactic. You're going to see we use him on the right side to do some Tactic stuff. Uh, stay tuned for the next uh, showcase video tomorrow to check that out. But yeah, rank 3 Onslaught. Like I said, he's my third favorite champ in the entire game. Here, I'm fighting my second favorite champ spot. Um, I'm so happy I, I took Onslaught to rank 3 and ascended him and everything. He's going to be my first ever rank 4 7 star. I just I love him so much. He's so good. He's so cool. He's wonderful. Uh, so to start this fight, you might be like, well, Legacy, what are you doing? Again, this is solo Alliance War content, which I love because, I, 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 you know, there's no timer. There's no time drop tiebreakers to worry about. There's literally not, a I can't even time out to this fight. I can go at any pace I like, which I love. That's why I love this so much, dude. So I just parry 10 times. Might as well parry 10 times, build up 10 of our Daunted. Why not? 
you know <laughs> why not so here's here he's unblockable he caught me right there right there i messed up my combo uh but here finally secure a heavy attack there we go pause all that good stuff so the great thing uh about onslaught is he can counter the effects of miss as long as he has one neuroshock active on the opponent now so that was kind of my thinking with bringing him for this fight originally i had kate on my team and was trying her but i just didn't really she just wasn't feeling great here so i decided to drop her and i'm really glad i brought in my boy onslaught he's he's so good man so again had a little mishap with this void and i'd gotten to this void a couple times again originally with kate and wasn't great so i decided to try someone kind of weird and that's bullseye so you know i have a seven star rank three bullseye who i would have loved to bring to this fight but the whole reason i was thinking bullseye for this matchup is because of his awaken ability and you need it to be at sig 200 to full take full advantage here uh which is bullseye's awaken ability um at sig 200 he can reduce all damage he takes when activating a special so basically he can fully counter power sting um, which is ha being inflicted on this fight anytime Void reaches a bar of power. I definitely don't recommend bringing Bullseye to this fight. I would bring someone else, someone who's just going to shrug off debuffs. Maybe like a Kingpin or a Cheel, um, so someone like that. I Yeah, Bullseye is not it, unless you have like a rank 3 Sig 200. Um, honestly, maybe, maybe my rank 3 would have done better. I don't know. Probably not, but maybe. Just because he has so much more health. But, uh, yeah, this is just a 565 Bullseye Sig 200. He's not ascended, so he's not fully maxed out. He's doing okay. You know, it's nothing spectacular. The damage is, is alright. Trying to trying to time my combos with all the debuffs, and it's, it's just going crazy. You know, I want to get rid of the power stings, but I don't really want to be throwing special ones. Here, I wanted him to dash at me, but he threw his special. Here, I'm trying to invade into the special two to get the fury. And then here, I was like... Oh yeah, I can perfect release this, so boom, get a little perfect release. I forgot you can even perfect release on Bullseye sometimes. <laughs> I don't play him enough. Um, but yeah, I'm, and I'm still not great at the timing. I got it twice there, it's okay. But yeah, I'm about to die here. I almost, We did a good job. Bullseye did a decent job here. He took off the bulk of this Void's health, you know, 85%. I should be able to go in here with just about anyone and finish up now, so you know... Well, I basically got the job done, but uh, I think there's definitely better options, so I would recommend bringing someone else. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to go for Onslaught to finish this fight. I don't need Onslaught for anything else. Uh, it's just a Shuri and then a Thing boss, so yeah, we can be, Onslaught will be chilling after all that. And yeah, just going for some regular combos here. I don't want to hit 10 hits too fast just because of the debuff. So there we go, delay the combo a little bit, get rid of that, and we've got a couple power stings on us, they're dealing some damage, but I'm just going to eat the damage and finish the fight here, Void's going to drop dead, there we go, Onslaught picking up another kill, so here we have Shuri, so this Shuri was actually trickier than I initially expected, so it has Combat Deja Vu Prowess, pr Prowess Puncture, and Conflictor, so those Prowess nodes are pretty annoying, uh because if you do bad combos by bad combos i mean you have too many of the same hits in a row she's gonna get prowess and then the prowess puncture node is going to make it if you block her specials just do an absurd amount of damage it'd probably be better to just let this special hit me it would genuinely probably do less damage if it hit me than in my block <laughs> um so yeah cgr i went in with him here and we are getting wrecked. CGR is not really... I mean, he, he maybe could work this fight, but I just heavily underestimated this fight. Uh, and I'm dead here, just block damage. So rip CGR, but it's okay. Because I still have the GOAT on my team, and that is Werewolf by Night. This guy is just so good, dude. Uh, guys, I, I can't... If you have a 7-star Werewolf by Night, rank him up. I don't care if he's unduped. Rank him up. He's so good. I took him to rank three unduped. He's just ridiculous, man. And so basically, we're going to just get around this fight because we're going to hit her block. If we hit her block, we don't have to worry about giving her prowess. If she doesn't have prowess, <clears throat> the prowess puncture node is irrelevant. 
she is still gaining some power. Um, I think it's just from Power Snack, or, or no, I think it's Conflictor. Whenever I inflict a debuff on her, she gains some power, but it's fine. You know, without all that prowess, the block damage is, isn't that, that bad, so it's all good. Now we are in our mode, and I just want to hit two bars of power, but it's kind of a struggle for me to get there right now. And now she has uh, some prowess, so here I go for a little howl. And here you can see it. We're taking some block damage. I can't. I definitely can't fully deck Shuri special one. I can like dex out at the end, but that's that's about it. And unfortunately, our mode fell off before uh, we dropped our special two, so didn't really get any of the big damage there. It's all good. Slow and steady. We're gonna win this race. Uh, just throw a little special one. I have too much power, and I want to be in the mode when I hit the special two. So there we go. We're at seven charges now. I just need one more howl. That's going to get us to nine. And then once we hit two bars, that'll push us over to ten. And then that special two will definitely kill. So here, just going to howl. And the great thing about my wolf being awakened now is when I howl above a bar of power, we go unblockable. So it's just a much easier opening. Throw that special two, chain it into a relic. And Shuri goes down, man. Werewolf, just so freaking good. And I wanted to keep the werewolf hype train alive. So we're going to keep using him. Werewolf can actually take this thing boss too. But I am going to be smart and bring a backup option just in case. Because werewolf's health is pretty low. You know, if werewolf had a full yellow bar, I'm quite confident we could take the boss. Um, but, you know, his health is a little bit low. So I am going to bring up bring in a backup op option uh, and that is my girl black cat because she is awesome and really really good against thing in particular even though i don't think black cat is tactic either but uh yeah kabam made some great great changes to the showcase since the, pr the first edition uh by adding in some nodes like invulnerability so when i get hit in this fight it's essentially like i have an invulnerability boost active uh they also made some guidance nodes basically by making those pre-fights on some uh as into a node which is really cool i hope kabam keeps you know tweaking and making a uh, good quality of life changes with the showcase and i hope they continue to make showcases because i know not everyone enjoys these but man i i really do um just and, and the, the crazy craziest part is I absolutely despised this tactic when it was in Alliance War and in Battlegrounds. In both of those PvP modes, I did not enjoy this at all. But in solo mode, I love it. Like, I don't care how hard something is if it's in solo content. You know what? I can go at my own pace, take my time, and, you know, there's no nothing on the line, you know? But in Battlegrounds and Alliance War, when there is a lot of stuff on the line and it's... AI and you can get parried and there's bugs and repairing and you can't safely hit in the block when that's an integral part of the tactic like it's just it's not enjoyable it's not fun it's so frustrating but in a solo environment like I'm, I'm having an absolute blast and so as you can see man werewolf we're mowing this thing down it's this fight's going pretty good actually you know we're healing werewolf's healing is great I'm so glad uh that I got him duped now because his healing is the dupe only make it stronger against cosmics or is it everyone? I mean, we'll check here. Yeah, it's it's just increases his buff just or sorry, his dupe, it just increases his regeneration potency uh when the opponent has unique buffs. And this is the boss node, so thing has two unique buffs. The uh, energy resist buffs and the physical resist buffs. Everything was going great, but here I just mess up, and he doesn't throw the special, and I'm cornered, and I just can't get rid of these rock stacks. Uh, he's at 14 right now, so even if he throws it, you know. And then here, he just kills me. So, it's, Werewolf can absolutely take that fight, dude, 100%. He did a good job, uh, but we just had a little mishap and got cornered, unfortunately. But it's all good, because I brought backup in Black Cat. Couldn't ask for better backup than her. And dude, she is going to absolutely mow this fight down. And if we take this down with her, that is the entire left side done itemless. Uh, we did throw in a couple boosts, but those don't count because in Alliance War, you're boosting. Plus, they were going to expire if I didn't use them. So, yeah, it's all itemless. No revives, no potions, nothing like that. No mastery swaps. But uh, yeah, this fight's going decent so far. We've got two indestructibles, so boom, go for a little repairy. Now I can safely drop my special two, and it's gonna connect and do damage. 
And now we've got the sabotage debuff active. So what that's gonna do is every time I hit thing, he's gonna be trying to, you know, gain rock stacks, but he can't because of the sabotage. So his ability is gonna fail and we are gonna deal damage. You can see it's about 5,000 damage in red on every single hit that Black Cat does. Uh, also, our cruelties are stacking up. So we're actually critting for pretty decently hard now too. And you can see, even though we're not tactic, you know, we're able to play around this indestructible. Uh, just parry the special two right there, get rid of that indestructible, and then one more final combo into a special one. That is Thing Boss dead. Yeah, that is the left side of the Alliance War solo showcase. Completely itemless. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know who your MVP was. Mine was definitely the Werewolf by Night. I love that guy so much. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like. If so, subscribe for some more content. Part two will be posted tomorrow, tackling the right side. Stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Peace.